everyone. Today I wanted to show you an interesting uh, feature of the BB Edit Shell worksheet, uh, which may not be initially apparent. Normal Unix has something called a here document, where if you have a large amount of input to give to a shell script, you can do it right in line. Let's see here. Ruby, um, less than, less than, here. And now I can type my bit of Ruby code. Hi. And I end it with the same word I started with. So in this case, here. Now, what will happen is that the entire contents of this document uh, right now just puts hi is sent to Ruby just how it is. Uh, let's try that again with a larger document. And here we see some of the problems of the here document. First, I couldn't go back and edit the syntax error uh, when I said uh, put instead of puts. Hi. Puts is the um, Ruby version of print. And put is a syntax error. Uh, puts. Uh, now we can have a Ruby script that runs. And I could go on putting more stuff here and going on and on and on here. And I still get a syntax error because I couldn't go back and edit out that first line. Arg, I'm so frustrated. <sighs> Usually what you would do in normal Unix is somehow use VI or whatever and create a temporary file and pipe it to Ruby. But why? The BB Edit Shell worksheet gives us an interesting alternative. Say in this case I want to create a bunch of temporary files in a folder. Um, here I am in my home document and now I go into my temporary document, a temporary folder. Okay? And let's start with some, some Ruby code. Uh, just as on the command line, I've added a here document. And I have written a bunch of Ruby. Unlike the command version, I can just edit that normally. Uh, I am, and this will repeat 25 times, using all of my normal BB edit commands, like, let's comment this line out. Uncomment selection. There we go. I actually need that variable. But I can comment this one out because why not? I'm just in BB Edit. I have a full, the full capabilities of my text editor right here. In previously on Terminal, um, trying to enter even just this trivial mm, 20 line or 10 line script would have been a nightmare because every time I mistyped put instead of puts, I could not go back and correct it. But here I can because I have not actually executed this uh, bit of document yet. This this here document yet. I can compose the entire here document and look at it in one line. I can go back to previous lines and edit everything I want. And then I can send the entire thing to Ruby by selecting it all and hitting the enter key. And I should now have a bunch of temporary files in my Peterson project directory. So next time you have a problem on the command line and you say, hey, I should write a script in Ruby or Python and I could do this in, in 10 lines of code. Um, instead of dealing with the here document editor in your favorite shell, um, this is the here doc editor in ZSH that I showed you earlier. Um, bash or SH might be different. You could go to the BB Edit worksheet and have the entire capabilities of BB Edit right at your command. Uh, so I hope this has uh, will help and relieve some frustration in your work. Have a good day.